far as I can remember back, I knew I would write a novel. I just absolutely knew I would write a novel. I grew up on a home, which is now the fifth tee box of Stony Creek Golf Course. It was a big, beautiful three-story home. It had uh, an attic where I would spend a lot of my time. There was a um, window overlooking uh, looking to the south where I could look out over and see the countryside. And I called that my writer's studio. In the uh, main floor was a screen porch where my sister and I would would put on plays. I would write plays and then we would present plays to our parents. Earlier, uh, one of my greatest joys is to, one is to autograph books and the second is just to talk to people about their response. So I'm wondering if, just to start off with here. I you really had... thought that the power of the written word was something that was important, that it preserved our history and, and gave us voice uh, in our lifetimes. Over the years, I developed an interest in writing human interest stories for the local newspapers. And then I embarked on a lifelong dream of writing a novel. The novel that I wrote, entitled Locked Up in Frost, is the parallel journeys of a man who struggles with some of the ghosts of his childhood, as well as the ghosts of the war that he's been involved in, and the challenges of living in a community that is filled with conflict. And so the two of them work their way through the challenges of their personal life and of their community. The crowd rustled in at conversation as Robert Jensen stood before the assembly. As he spread his notes on the podium, Several in the audience turned to the next person with a look that in some cases appeared to be admiration and in other cases was clearly disdain. With his notes in order, he calmly looked out over the crowd and began, Ladies and gentlemen, we have heard it said that freedom is not free. It is not free and it is not inexpensive, but just as important, freedom is not a right to be enjoyed by few while denied to others. My inspiration to write the book was the desire to incorporate some of the thoughts and ideas I had about conflict and about life. When I write columns, I often think of people like Ken Burns. I think of, of Cervantes, whose, whose story Don Quixote and was turned into Man of La Mancha tells us how to, to treat other people and that the way we treat other people enhances them and ourselves in the same way. Those storytellers have helped me find voice in the, in the work that I do. And those the way of telling a story, whether it's in a column, or whether it's in a front page article, or whether it's in a book, that manner of storytelling, that manner of getting a message across is, is a very effective one. I cannot say that storytelling has been a journey from one point to another. It's been just a process of taking my experiences and understanding of life and sharing it with readers. And so it's been an ongoing desire to tell a story. Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies.
Mark and Margaret Yakel juline on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota, on the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota, on the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram, online at 96.7cram.com. <laughs>